snowing again. Literally, I was like, oh, summer, summer is here. The birds were coming out, the birds were coming back from the south. It was dry, it was sunshiny, awesome, it felt good. Like I was outside in a t-shirt walking the dogs and then suddenly, out of nowhere, this happened. <sighs> Suffice to say, it's snowing outside and oh, I'm pretty, pretty bummed about it. However, I'm not gonna let it ruin my mood. Instead, I will turn it into a shooting opportunity because I'm sure, you know what, I'm just tired of shooting snow, but I'll still do it. I'll still do it because I gotta get out there and use my stuff. The more you use your stuff, the more you learn, the more you get in tune with the gear you have, you just gotta get out there and do it. And who knows, maybe I'll run into someone doing something incredible. Silver lining, I suppose. However, it doesn't really matter too much because this Thursday, I'm going away across the ocean with my friend Manny to do something incredible. I don't know if we can talk about exactly what it is yet. I'll probably divulge it on the day that I'm going, but oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be epic. Like, I'm not just saying epic, it like 100% it's gonna be awesome. So this Thursday, starting, I'm going to try, because I know a lot of you have been saying, Pete, do more vlogs, Pete, do more vlogs, and I've been trying to find a good balance, but this Thursday, when I'm gone, since I won't be able to do too many tutorials because of what I'm doing, I'm gonna try and daily vlog the entire trip kind of time I'm away. So I'm gonna try and make a video every day. I've never done that before. However, my hats are off to the people that do dailies because I know for a fact that it is like, I don't know for a fact, but my hat's off to the people that do dailies because it is it is not easy. It's not even easy doing three to four videos a, a week. So I can imagine how difficult it is doing a video every single day. So in order to help me get that done while I'm gone, I had to buy something. It was a hard pill to swallow, but I just had to do it. I had to go out there and just get it done because I need the tools to get the job done. I just did it. I did it. This is what happened. There it is. I'm not too pleased as most people are like this, this whole thing, the whole dongle thing kind of pisses me off a little bit. However, I understand that in the future, all the accessories I use will probably be USB-C anyways. This is, in my opinion, more of like a, for the time being, pain in the ass, but as a photographer, filmmaker, I already carry so much shit with me that two extra little cables that I need to plug into the, I don't care. Honestly, like, what's the, like, who cares, really? It's the wipeout theme. Let's turn this over, pow. Do this nice and neat. Pete, you don't have to cut a perfect square. Don't tell me how to unbox my own laptop. Mm. That is all that's in the box. And then you, you know, you're whatever. No, 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 no. I bet some of you just died inside with me right there. Okay, I'm gonna open it in front of you guys for the first time so you can see it before me. You saw it before I did. Wait. Oh, it just turns on when you open it. I didn't know that. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so that MacBook is amazing. I'm just charging it right now. Oh, so excited for that. Now, if you guys remember, several weeks ago, I made a video about opening up a P.O. box and told you guys to send me some stuff, and woo! I went and checked it the other day, and there was a couple things in there, and I was super, super stoked. So, I'm gonna open a few of them on camera here. Who doesn't love getting stuff in the mail? So, let's start with Dakota. Let's see what Dakota got. Boom! Dakota wrapped this like a beast. Action Glow, light up your sport. Waterproof, durable, cuttable LEDs for a longboard. Oh, that's so cool. There's a note. This is so much fun. Hey, my name's Dakota Porter. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur, filmmaker, and photographer from Traverse City, Michigan. Check out my content. There she is below, check it out. There it is. I can only imagine ripping down a wicked hill at night on a boosted board with LEDs strapped to the bottom and getting like a super long exposure. Ooh, like how do you turn it on? Oh, oh, 
Hell yeah. Look at that. Dakota, thank you. We got a postcard from Jack. A little picture of a squirrel on the front there. Wicked job. Love your work. You're inspiring. Thank you. Keep making great content. I plan to. There's his Instagram right there. Check him out. Give him some love. Gotta love the good old letter mail. Where's this from? This is coming from Montreal. What's up? Canada. Woohoo. What do we have here? Hi, Peter. Hope you will find it useful. Use it with phone and GoPro. Thank you for your inspirational content. Boom. Victor, you're the man, bro. Thank you. What is this? Stick and shoot wherever you go. Gecko gum. What is gecko gum? What is this? I don't know what this is. What's this for? Stick and shoot wherever you go. But what am I sticking to it? Thank you. Letter mail from Brooklyn. Little note here. Jeez. It's like an essay. Shalom, I'm a big fan of your YouTube and photography. I was subscribed to your channel for a while and could not wait for the day that you opened a PO box so I get a chance to write you a letter. Boom, today's the day. Thanks, dude. Just wanted to say hi, so hey, hey. Thanks for writing me that letter, Shalom. Very nice of you. Australia. Ooh, that's a long way. What do we got here? Pete, love your work, mate. <laughs> yes. You're an inspiration and I've learned heaps from your videos. Here's some of my work as a thank you. Sick, what is this? Ooh, music. Yo, this feels so good. Kudos. The only problem, I don't think I actually have any type of device that can play a CD anymore. Wow, thank you. Where's the, where's, where's the, where's the spine on this? How do you, how do you? Super cool. Oh, hell yeah. These socks are like ridiculously awesome. Super duper socks. Uh, hell yeah, they are. Super duper socks. These, what? Dear Peter, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I find it very inspirational with many useful hacks on topics which I personally want to get better at or learn from. Thank you. You're a very charismatic guy and obviously skilled creator and that's why we love your channel so much. Thank you again. Sending you some of our popular models and hopefully there's something that you like and would like to wear. If not, you can always give them as a gift to someone. To <laughs> These are staying on my feet. Super duper socks are designed in Norway by descendants of Viking kings. <laughs> Amazing. They are made in Latvia by really pretty blonde girls. Yo, this packaging is hilarious. These socks will make you rock like the bang bang, the boogie to the boogie to the bang bang boogie. Okay, kudos to whomever wrote the, uh, the ad copy on, on the packaging here. Thanks, dude. These ugh, are incredible. I can't wait to wear them all. I gotta be honest, the next package that I'm gonna unbox, I already opened it. I couldn't wait. It came to my door like a day ago and I was like, nope, opening this right now. Uh, you guys heard of that company, Z Zyun, Zyun? These guys, they make, this, they make a crane. It's like a handheld three axis gimbal, or not three, it's like a handheld gimbal for like mirrorless cameras, stuff like that. Anyways, they reached out to me because they have in this package here, they have what they believe is going to be the answer to DJI's Osmo Mobile. Now, it didn't come with much packaging. This is a pre-production model. They didn't pay me to say any of this. They just sent it to me and said, you wanna check it out and give us your thoughts and feedback. So here we go. Let's check it out together. This, it had a cable with it, but pretty much it just came in some blister packaging, but it looks it looks almost exactly the same as the DJI Osmo Mobile. But the handle's a little different. There's no grip. There's a joystick. There's no, uh, there's no trigger. But what already, what I'm super pumped about is they put the quarter 20 jack on the bottom so you can actually mount this to a tripod. Thank you, thank you, Zhiyun. I don't know why DJI had it in their mind to put the jack on the side. Well, actually, well, I do know why. They put it on the side so that everyone had to buy their proprietary tripod mount that could just blow away in the wind. How? So this right there, I can tell you that much, being on the bottom is a huge, a huge win. Let me compare this to the, the actual Osmo, hang on. I'll tell you this much, the form factor of this in its little neoprene case is already a big win. I'm pumped with that. Oh wow, so this is, uh, this feels a lot chunkier. First impressions, I got Osmo here. I got what they are calling the smooth Q in my left hand here, the pre-production model. The grip on the Osmo, I will say, is a little more comfortable. They've got a rubber inlay on the side here. 
which just makes it a little easier to grab. The Smooth Q is lighter. I will say that. There's no additional, there's no battery that comes out of it. This one, the battery comes out. There's a built-in battery on this one. We got a USB plug on the back and small little connector on the side, which is where I just charged it up before I did this video so that we could check it out. Yeah, I think the only way to do it is to use it. I think they have an app with this, but I'm not gonna be using an app. I'm just gonna use the iPhone video app and just see what it looks like. But why don't I go outside now somewhere and just film some random B-roll with my phone using the Smooth Q, and then we'll play that right now, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit about what I think uh, this is like and how it works and if it's worth it for you guys. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think this, the Smooth Q, is gonna be half the price of the Osmo Mobile. So if you were someone that always wanted the Osmo Mobile for your phone and you wanted to do more videos on your iPhone and smartphone, stuff like that, this might be an incredible option for you at half the price if it performs at the same level this does. In that case, I mean, I'll just be using this one because it's lighter and for me, carrying gear, I need it to be lighter. But let's go play with this and see what it, uh, what it looks like. Okay, so I would have tried to get more shots, honestly, but what happened is my phone kept shutting off because of how freaking cold it was outside. I've never had that happen before. I literally had to go back to the car each time, plug it into like actual power to get it to charge back up, warm it up, go back out, and then it would die after like 10 minutes. I've never had that happen, that's crazy. So I would have liked to have got more footage, but I was honestly, it was legit too cold to do that, so. I mean, first impressions with this, super cool, really easy to set up, really, really fast, really, really fast to balance with this arm here that you adjust. A little bit hard to take out. You kind of feel like you're gonna rip the thing off when you're pulling it out, but I've done it like five times. There's no issues there. The only thing I couldn't get working was the joystick. I could get tilt up and down, but I couldn't get pan left and right. I don't know if that's just not an option. Obviously, like I mentioned, is a pre-production model, so that could very well have everything to do with the uh, pan left and right not working very well probably will work when the actual model comes out. But yeah, thanks for sending me this. This is super, super cool. I hope that I get one of the actual ones, one of the real ones when they actually finally do launch. I feel like I just said actually, like actually eight times. So that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a quick one. Just wanted to kind of have some fun, open some packages, show you guys the new uh, Smooth Q and maybe kind of get you excited for some of the things that we got going on here in the next week. It's gonna be crazy busy, it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna take some of this with me to get some more shots and just further test out gear, but it's gonna be a wild ride. So I hope that you guys stick around and enjoy it with me. But other than that, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you liked this video and subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you guys in the next video.